Ivan Lubicic här, den stora kroaten, 193 cm lång. Näst äldst av spelarna i singelturneringen. Och ja, han har varit, som Janne var inne på tidigare, trea i världen nu igen på 17 plats. Och vann i mass storturneringen Indian Wells där han besegrade Rafael Nadal och Novak Djokovic med flera på vägen fram mot finalen där han slog Andy Roddick. Ett stort, stort register har Ivan Lubicic, men det har ju också hans motståndare, vän och konkurrent här om singeltiteln i Kungliga Tennishallen Stockholm Open 2010, Roger Federer. En chans kvar för Kroaten. Kvoten utmanar första serven som dömdes ut. Där. där han hade Fred Olli Gemet och sen är det Federer med nätets hjälp till ett break. Här ser vi. Sveitsan. Ganska bra djup på den här turen. Lubicic ligger på. Träffarna hela tiden framför kroppen och här en nätrulla. Man ser inte så många nätrullar eftersom nätet är så oerhört spänt. Här kommer bollen via taket in i Spansolaugen. Nu är det Jag 
Roger Federer infria förväntningarna och tar sig till finalen. Stanislas Vavrinka försökte igår och var nära att skaka mästaren. Och idag så är det Lubicic som ger honom en rejäl match. Lubicic hade sitt läge i första set men det blev två raka set för Roger Federer som imorgon spelar final mot Florian Mayer och där är han skyhög favorit. Ivan Jubicic, um, how do you feel about uh, the way you played today? Uh, it was okay, I mean I had a lot of chances in the first set. Uh, after I got broken in the second, obviously it was mentally very difficult to cope with that. I mean, getting broken with the, with the left goal, it was not the way I imagined this, uh, this match, but uh, you know, for some reason always with him it ended up like this, you know, getting close and not, never really get over it. Yeah, do you, have you, I mean, do you know why, can you, you know, why? No, I don't think there is, you can point the finger at one thing, simple thing, you know, I just felt like when I was serving for the set, uh, I was a little bit unlucky, and that's it, I had uh, two easy approaches with the forehand, one I hit the left, the second one skipped off the line, you know, and then, you know, with him you don't get a lot of chances, and if you don't take the ones that you get, uh, this is how it finished. When you still were in the game in the first set, what are you most sort of satisfied with there? No, I had to play aggressive. I knew that, you know, I had to attack his back and this is what I was doing you know, uh, all throughout the first set, you know, and then uh, once he gets relaxed after I, he, he got that first set, obviously he relaxed a little bit, played a little bit better, and then uh, it was getting more and more difficult for me. Okay, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Congratulations, Roger Feather. Yet another victory here in Stockholm. Thank you very much. Uh, how do you feel about your level of game today compared to earlier in the tournament? Well, it's been good uh, the whole time. I'm, I'm having played 15 matches this tournament. It's only been three, uh, so obviously um, there hasn't been a huge amount of tennis played. Especially the first round was under an hour, and that one was a good start to the tournament. Uh, after that, obviously, opponent started to get uh, tougher and tougher, and uh, I started to feel it. I had tough starts against Stan and against Ivan uh, today again, and uh, so I really had to dig deep, uh, play tough, and be patient and. Uh, I uh, got lucky a little bit on both occasions, but I think I pushed luck maybe on my side, uh, just a touch, who knows. Um, but uh, things went well for me, so I'm very happy. Yeah, and usually you deserve luck, right? I guess what Gary Player said once, the harder you practice, the luckier you get, so <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and uh, if we stay there in the first set, what, what happened? Um, well, I had a tough one serve, uh, service game, didn't really work well. Uh, missed a couple of shots, next thing you know, is a down break point and missed another stupid forehand because I was still lacking rhythm and uh, and then that's how it goes against big service you you, you stare down one break point I didn't make because I slipped on the court and he's serving well when he had to he was doing all the right things and really made it hard for me and then uh, you, I, I had to hope that he didn't play you know the, the perfect serve uh, service game and uh, he didn't gave me a couple of chances I was able to take them and then I played a really good tiebreaker um, got luck in the second set in the, on the break point obviously uh, there's no denying that, and uh, but I started to feel better as the match went on, and yeah, I think he had to force the issue a bit too much and start to make a bit too many errors. And uh, finally, how do you feel about the atmosphere here in Kungla? Fantastic, uh, I love it really. I mean, it's a more intimate center court, uh, as you can imagine. I play usually in front of 10, 15, 20,000 people, so this is very different, you know. And I like that the people are really close by. You can. Um, have eye contact really with the fans. You, you can, they can hear you breathing. They, they see everything, and I think it's really uh, very different, very nice for me. And uh, I've enjoyed myself here in Stockholm the whole week already, prior to the final. And uh, I'd like to thank again the tournament for getting me here and uh, making it possible. And I hope I can win tomorrow. Yeah, there's another game waiting tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.